Honest. Jay Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to HJN. So for today, I'd like to go ahead and talk about something about carcinogens, which are known, in little terms, as being a cancer-causing agent. And more to talk about that pretty much is that carcinogens themselves, there happens to be a lot of them, even to today. Because for the most part, carcinogens and cancer happen to relate mostly to radiation. But of course there are other methods that can actually utilize carcinogenic effects as a way of causing cancer in the human body. Because what we got from more recent research is that in case you have not noticed about a documentary known as What the Health, it actually goes ahead and talks about some newer research that tells us processed meats like some pork, sausage, bacon, turkey, deli meats, and a lot of other things happen to be carcinogenic. And that, of course, is the most common thing that we could ever possibly come across out of all carcinogenic things that happen to exist today. Of course, there's also tobacco, radioactive materials, and the type of pollutants that you could probably inhale from certain factories that happen to release a lot of smoke. But for the most part, out of all carcinogenic things out there, it's processed meats that happen to be more common than everything combined. Every carcinogenic thing out there, of course, is pretty awful to have in your life, but when you get down to processed meats, it's even worse. Of course, there's many people out there who would probably want to try and eliminate these kind of things just to prevent cancer from happening, or to stop cancer before it gets worse, but of course, that's still not really going to change much because there's still millions of people out there, mostly Americans, that happen to eat this kind of stuff every day. And even I happen to be struggling with the whole thing itself. But in any case, I mean, anybody who does have one particular carcinogen to avoid, I'd say processed meats. Tobacco smoke would have been way better because there's still plenty of people out there who are actually on the verge of quitting. And I don't really know much else there's to point out because it's just crazy. The fact that processed meats have been identified as a carcinogenic substance alone years ago, it's just a really, really bad scenario. But whatever the case may be, I sure do hope that anyone does in fact avoid cancer at all costs, no matter what kind of carcinogen it might be, or whatever kind of substance they might in fact come across. I do in fact want to have no cancer in my life. And so that's pretty much all I have left to talk about, but if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.